so hey i'm going to show you really quickly how to make a paperback journal cover in canva to go into kdp without it being rejected so i did my personal journal it's already published already on the amazon platform so i chose the um parameters seven by ten um, I didn't want as big as a paper size, but I didn't want as small as a normal book. So I did seven by 10. And when you do your sizes, what you want to do is go in and create a new design. And right here are your dimensions, 14.485 inch by 10.25. Yes, it's weird. It's not like seven by 10, but it's the way that KDP responds to it. So the way that I did this was I show my margins just to see where my margins are. And I kind of pinpointed here what would be the spine. And so I chose a picture and I'll just choose one just for fun. Um, let's see. This looks cool. So we'll choose this cute family here and we'll slide it over here now the reason why it um went directly into this frame is because when you go into um elements you can go down to frames and we'll go to frames and what i did was i chose just a regular square frame well let's choose this frame here and if you click on the three dots it says portrait frame with border you can click on that and just spread it out on the ends here. And even while you're doing this, it's showing you the width and the height. If you see down bottom in this black of how the uh, back page will be. And you can stretch it out. The one thing that you don't want to do is to go out of this. If you go out of this margin, KDP will reject it and you don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure you stay within the page. And when you stay within the page, then you'll be able to put the picture that you desire here. If you don't want to do a um, frame at all, let's delete that. And we'll delete this frame here. You can just go in, choose this photo slide it over make sure you don't go over that line and that purple line is there to guide you bring it down and you can slowly bring it over right and then you see how her face is cut off you'll click on the picture click crop and you'll slide them over just to get the full effect and now you successfully have your back page. And if you want them on the front page, you can do the same thing. You can click on this picture and this uh, square here that says duplicate, you can duplicate it and bring it over and do the same there. And remember, we're not going outside of this these pages, the, the lines, the parameters that's on there. So now you have back cover front cover now the spine i kept it as small as possible because just because i was having issues myself with the spine but what i did was let me ungroup this i did a um text box for each so all you have to do is of course go into text choose a text box you click on it i chose eight font and i just changed it down to eight turned it sideways and the dimensions show you there in the black once it gets to 90 degrees that's when you know that it's straight and you just put it here you see how the margin is still there because here I, i'm showing my margin and we can show the guides as well the guide as well excuse me um if you want to go down as far as far as the grid line you can but I didn't want to chance it, so I just left it where it is, kind of put it in the middle. And I typed in the title of my journal, my name here as the author, and this is the tagline for my journal. And I just made sure that they're within 
this um, parameter here to make sure that my spine was in place. So even if for whatever reason it printed crooked or whatever the, the case is, hopefully that does not happen. I haven't seen that happen, but you know, things do happen. And then you can just do that here. I grouped it because I'm, and, and let me show you how to do that. Let me go back. So I click on this text box. You press the shift button and hold it down. Select the next one. Select the next one and click group. And that's how you group something together. When you're doing your wording, you see how my word box is here. It's still within that gray margin. And the reason why that's, that's important is because one, it needs to meet the KDP requirements. And then also you want to make sure that your words don't go off the page because it can. And so um, that's pretty much it. Um, this was my second cover. I had two versions of it. I have that here. And again, this turquoise line is a guide and it just shows you that you're staying within the, the parameters. It, at any moment you go outside of it, it will be a purple line that shows you, hey, 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 you're going too far. So um, that's pretty much how I did my um, cover for KDP. Once again, this is a seven by 10, but the file in order for this to work is you will go in and create a new um, design. And if I'm not mistaken, that's 14.485. And then, well, let's change the, the two inch first from pixel to inch. And then we'll do 14.485. And if I'm not mistaken, it's 1025 by 10.25. And we'll start from scratch and I'll show you this one. And you'll show, show your margins, guys. Make sure you do that. And you can also show the guides. Choose any picture that you desire. Uh, let's choose, let's choose this picture. And even though now it's up to you if you wanted to spread across the entire front and back of the cover, but remember we're doing doing it to make sure that you have um, both the front and back cover taken care of. So if you're gonna stretch the picture, stretch it all the way to the edge. And once you see that purple line, let's try that again. Once you see that purple line, stop. Same thing at the top, stop. 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 Okay. Now you have it spread across. And if you want to do it that way, you can. I'm just going to make it transparent so you can see the words on there. Now for the spine, I just kind of eyeballed the, the spine. So we'll put in our text box. And again, I chose eight font. You can go to 10 if you want to push it, but I didn't want to push it. So um, we're just going to turn it here. Make sure it's 90 degrees. And if you can pinpoint it to make sure it's the look, look at that. That purple mark shows you that it's the metal. See that right there in the middle. You can duplicate it if you're going to put more. And you see how those purple lines are lining up? It's showing you, hey, we are directly in the middle. You can do that. And then within this margin, you can type your title, any other wording that you want to do there um, for the sake of um, this tutorial. We'll just click on some ready text that they have just to do a split so this is the first this is the front cover here i'll duplicate that this is the back cover here and if you don't want your if you want your spine to be a different color you can go into elements click on a square 
bring that square in as much as you can. Let's see, so 3.2. Let's see, 0 0.9. Stretch it up to the top, not over it. And then now you have a spine. So now you have a cover. And so once you're done, what you want to do is download this as a PDF standard. If you want to do it for print, you can do that one as well, either or. Um, but uh, remember that KDP is going to compress this um, cover. And you can click download and save it and go into KDP and upload it. And there's your cover. I hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions, you're welcome to um, email me, Shay at wisdom by 30, wisdom by 30 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.